Is there really only one way to cook up life? Could life form from a different set of ingredients? Science fiction writers have speculated wildly about alternative life forms, but in the cold, hard world of science, we only have proof of life as we know it. But if an ocean really is critical, does it have to be an ocean of water? That's a question that drives NASA's Chris McKay. What I'm really interested in finding is what I call a second genesis of life. Organisms that are clearly not related to any life on Earth. All life on Earth is related to itself, forms a single tree. You can call that life one. What I'm looking for is life two, something that's not related. It doesn't have to be profoundly different, but it has to be different enough that we can say with very high confidence that they are not related to us. We do not have a common ancestor. Where such a life form could feasibly emerge was anyone's guess. Until in 2005, the world's attention turned to Titan, the biggest of the moons which orbit around Saturn. At that time, all we knew of it was that it looked gassy, orange, and lifeless. We knew that Titan was a fuzzball from telescopes. Before spacecraft ever went to Titan, just looking at Titan with a telescope, we could tell that it had a thick atmosphere. But then in 2005, the Cassini-Huygens probe passed by, revealing a surface that was unexpectedly Earth-like. It was dotted with huge bodies of water, bearing an uncanny geographical similarity to the Great Lakes. So visually, when we look at these images of the lakes, we see reflections of what we see in airplanes when we look down as we fly over the Great Lakes. There was one crucial difference, though. These weren't lakes of water. They were lakes of methane. And at minus 292 Fahrenheit, they're too cold for any life form with an Earth-like chemistry. I would contend that we don't understand the role of temperature directly in life. Now, on Earth, of course, we're used to living in a high temperature liquid at high temperature. We're in the fast lane. We uh, metabolize very rapidly because we're living at high temperature. Right? Well, on Titan, the liquid that's there is cold. The temperatures are cold. If there's life there, it's obviously in the slow lane. It's metabolizing very slowly. But so what? What's the rush? There's not an absolute tempo that life must keep to. 